Hello, my name is Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be talking about how I record my screen. So, I have been using a lot of different kinds of softwares to record my screen, but recently I switched to a software called Filmora. If you don't know the software, you can download it with a link in the description. It is a free software, they also have a paid version for the software, and I have already created a tutorial for it. Link will also be in the description. So check out Filmora, download it, and yeah, let's open it up. Once it's opened up, you can choose between easy mode and full feature mode. So let's click on full feature mode. And in that mode, you will uh, get this update. Well, you can close it down for now. And over here, we will see a record button. So if you click on the record button, we can pick between record from webcam and record PC screen. So for now, we want to record our PC screen. So let's click on that. And then you will have the options right here. So you can uh, record the system audio if you want to. You can enable it or disable that. Also with the microphone, you can disable, enable it and select your correct microphone. I'm using the blue Yeti here. So you can uh, see it right here. If I click on that, it's selected. And I can insert my resolution or I can just say full screen, uh, custom or target window. Custom is that you can choose between everything or you can, uh, yeah, you can just uh, drag it out here, move it a little bit like so. And you can also lock the aspect ratio if you want to, to scale it in the same aspect ratio. But most of the time I use full screen, but target window, for example, if I open up Filmora here, just for an example, so this works with every kind of software, I can click here and click on target window, and then it will automatically notice every single window in here, or in every single tab here, so you can uh, just record this, for example, and then it will record that. So for now, let's uh, choose full screen, and let's see the other settings that we have here. So we can uh, choose a destination. So save it to a specific folder by clicking here. A frame rate of maximum 30 FPS right here. So you can select that in your window and the quality is at, at best, of course. You can also choose to stop recording for in an hour, for example. But as I'm using this for tutorials, I like to stop it myself. So uh, I'm doing that manually. Then you can also show the mouse and the mouse click sounds, so you can play the click sounds here, um, but I don't do that either. And then you can assign a hotkey right here to start and stop uh, recording with Filmora. So if we press record now, it will count down from 5 and you will have time to um, yeah, get yourself ready. And once it starts, it's starting to record and yeah, it's uh, taking everything right now. And if we press F9 on the keyboard, it will stop recording and it will import that automatically in Filmora and then you can drag it into your timeline and then you can just uh, start editing it if you want to so uh, well you can just see your recording right here so if we enlarge in this here you can see that um, and then I'll right click here and mute my audio so I can play it here and you won't hear anything but yeah I'm actually talking right now um, so yeah, you can edit it in Filmora, and then click on export and choose an MP4, choose a destination, also choose a resolution of yeah full uh, full HD in my opinion, uh, bitrate of maybe 10k or more, and then you can choose the encoder H.264 HD optimized, um, which is also the last option here, and 30 FPS for audio I select 48,000, and then I just click OK. And then I can just click export and it will export this to my desktop. So and then you can click on find target and it will open up that folder and you can click it and preview it or upload it to YouTube. So that's how I record with Filmora. I really love this software and it comes in really handy. And especially if you want to easily edit your films and this is great. So that's it for this tutorial, I hope you liked this tutorial, also like this video if you did, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more, and also let me know in the comments below what you would use a screen recorder for, so what do you screen record? Let me know in the comments below, thank you for watching and goodbye.